Hello, everybody. So today I'm reviewing The Corpse of Anna Fritz. Um, it's a Spanish film. The Corpse of Anna Fritz is a story of celebrity Anna Fritz has just died. She's in a morgue, um, and there's this man that works in the morgue, and his two friends come to visit him in the morgue, and they want to see Anna Fritz, um, and they want to have sex with her. And then something weird happens, and now these three men have to work out what the hell to do. That's a story. I haven't spoiled anything there. That's, I've explained the story very badly. The Courts of Anna Fritz is a movie that is 76 minutes long, and it's a film that just feels very dragged out, and feels like things could have been done a lot earlier on in the film. You have these men just keep on panicking about this shit, and they just have all these really stupid, sexist comments. The first time you meet one of the characters, no characters' names are online, I've completely forgot his name, but this first character is announced, well, is, is shown on screen, and he's talking to his friend, because they've just gone to the hospital, and they're like, oh, would you have sex with those two Asian women? Would you have sex with that Asian woman over there? And they're like, which one? He's like, both of them. And then he decides to say, oh, I've heard Asian women are really submissive. That's the only thing. And he starts saying about them having small tits, and he's like, that's the only thing they've got going for them. That's the only thing they can do for themselves, because they're ugly. And it's just like, straight away, you hate that character, and nothing gets better for him. You just gather more and more hate for him as you go on. There is only one character in this whole film where you are, where you sort of think, okay, you've got a bit of sense, you sort of know what to do, you aren't as big an idiot as these two other pricks that are here that are just being disgusting. You aren't as bad of, as them. Um, and then something happens there and you're just like, oh, great, so now we've got to deal with these two fucking idiots still. Um, this is a film that just annoyed me, and it just kept dragging and dragging, and it's just... There's a lot of things, a lot of continuity, and things that don't make complete sense. There's a character that drags himself around at one point, and then, like, two minutes later on, they are able to just stand and walk around normally, and you're just like, oh, okay, this, this doesn't make any sense as how are they exactly doing this right now. It just has a lot of plot holes, and... A lot of things that don't make complete sense, and nothing is really completely explained. And the ending is one of the most rushed, bullshit endings that just, you're just sat there and like, oh, that's, that's it? That's, that's what we got? That's what we got after we, we've sat through? It is like, yes, like I said, it's 76 minutes, but for me, it felt like it, it was almost three hours long. It's just really not a good film. It's very disappointing. This is a film that I was excited to see. I thought, okay, it's set in a morgue. There's, it sounded like, or there was a story that was online before that sounded like something really weird and creepy was going to start happening in this morgue and it was going to be a good Spanish horror. Um, someone compared it to Sleep Tight, another great film, that another great Spanish horror that I enjoy because Spain seems to bring a lot of great horrors, but this is not one of them. The Corpse of Anna Fritz gets a one and a half out of five from me. I had high hopes for this. I was hoping it was going to be an enjoyable movie. But for a film that is so very short, I was so very bored. And I just... I just don't get... This film didn't bring anything fresh or new or exciting to the, to the table. It's just all things that we've seen before. And there's many other great and better morgue, morgue films out there. Films set in morgues, there's just many other better films out there that you could check out, and this isn't one of them to check out. Yeah, I just wanted to do a really quick review on Anna, The Corpse of Anna Fritz. Um, a film full of characters that you don't like, and you don't care for, and you don't care if anything bad happens to them. Um, and you're meant to, at some points, but you don't. And that's where this film does it all wrong. That's my review for today, and I shall see you all again very, very soon. Goodbye.